Turns out eviction. Uh, eviction <coughs> actually all we need to remember is called UDA. Which means what? You unlawful detainer action. It means that you you really file uh, eviction to the tenant so as to evict them. So it is actual. But what does constructive really mean? Constructive is it is not actual. It is not yet evicted. But the landlord, let's say like one time, he locked the door. He cut the water, utility and water. And the third one is inhabitable. Habit, actually, it's like a French word called habit. This means to reside or to live. Reside is a stronger word, Correct. but in, it means that no. As I told you last yesterday, so it is not livable. But what does it really mean here is, if you have a heater and it's broken down, the landlord got the notice and he didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. He didn't call the PGN to start that fire. Then it can be considered as constructive eviction. So the tenant has a strong reason saying that, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to pay you the rent until you turn on that heater. Correct. I hear that Second, one. locked door. One time the landlord argued with the, the tenant mm -hmm. and the t landlord said, okay, I'm going to change that lock. Once the landlord changed that law, the tenant, since he doesn't have the key, so the tenant go there, he bang the door, he go in and then change back another law, whatever. But at that time, the tenant can say, oh, the landlord is constructively evade me.